Hey guys, Doug B here. This week we're taking a look at a post made by Jeff Strickler at the Fender Tone Master Pro users group on Facebook. Jeff asked this, has anyone else had issues with the USB port on their Tone Master Pro? On my unit, the port has become almost impossible to connect a USB cable to perform updates. I've tried several cables, Apple and other brands, so I know the issue is with the USB port itself. Will Fender support replace the port under warranty if the unit is over a year old? Now, this was a really timely question as I had just been experiencing a problem with the USB port on my Tone Master Pro. My wife had just completed a major overhaul of the cabling system for my Mac Mini. We had tested everything out and everything was working as expected. Well, I guess we missed one thing. I was going to use Logic Pro to record some tracks from the Tone Master Pro using USB. Well, you know, it was connected as normal. The Pro Control app was working. Logic Pro said that the Tone Master Pro was being used as the input device into Logic Pro, but I was getting no audio at all from the Tone Master Pro. I was getting good signal into the Tone Master Pro. You know, I checked it with the tuner to see if I was getting input, and I was. And then when I checked the output mixer, it showed that I was sending a good strong signal on the USB out. Now, I had also recently updated Logic Pro, so I thought maybe, maybe the problem might be with Logic Pro. Now, I should tell you that I've been using Logic Pro now for, oh my gosh, almost 15 years, and I have done dozens of recordings with the Tone Master Pro into Logic Pro using USB with no problems until now. Now, I eventually got it to work, and we'll get into that in a minute. But what are the steps you should go through if you're finding that you're having troubles with your USB connection? The very first thing you should do is reboot the Tone Master Pro and reboot your computer. And I don't mean restart it, I mean reboot it. You'd be surprised at how often this clears up a lingering issue. I used to work in IT back in the day and I had people calling me all the time saying their computer was doing this, that, or the other. First thing I asked them to do was reboot it and let me know if they were still having the problem. Most times that took care of it. Okay, but what if that doesn't change anything? What if you're still having the problem? Well, the next thing you should try is another USB cable, preferably a new USB cable. I mean, if there is a cable involved, nine times out of 10, the problem was with the cable. Now, when I suggest this to people, most of them say, but that cable was just working just a little while ago. Well, yeah, that was a little while ago. Cables do not have a predetermined lifespan. They will quit at the most inopportune moments. And this could be a cable that has been laying on the floor and not even been touched. It will just suddenly die. So try replacing the cable. Oh, and make sure that it's a data cable, not just a charging cable. A charging cable will not work between the Tone Master Pro and your computer. Now, can a USB cable or USB port partially fail? Yep. It's not very common, but it has definitely been known to happen. Now, you may not know this, but USB-C connectors have 24 pins and they do different functions. Now you can see how they're labeled in this picture. And we are not gonna do a deep dive into the functions of the 24 different pins on a USB-C connector. I just wanted you to understand that there are 24 separate connectors inside that connector. So it's possible that stress was put on one pin and not on the others. And that may be why one pin has failed completely or maybe that pin hasn't failed completely and it's intermittently working. Considering that we plug and unplug that USB-C cable into the Tone Master Pro numerous times, it stands to reason that there is a possibility that there could be a problem with the USB port. 
Well, this was the situation that I thought that I was dealing with. I had tried rebooting. I had tried using different cables. I had even tried using a different DAW besides Logic Pro. I tried different USB ports. Nothing mattered. It was just not working. But then I remembered an issue that I had had with my Samsung S21 phone a few years ago. Now that thing would charge on the wireless charger, but I could not get a USB charge or a USB connection on that phone at all. I spent a whole day on the phone with Samsung customer support, and by the end of the day, we had not accomplished anything, so the rep assigned me to a local repair center. Well, I brought my phone to the repair center, told them what the problem was, gave my phone to them. Five minutes later, they had it fixed. <laughs> I could not believe it. Was it a bad port? Did they have to do some programming to it or something? I mean, are they so aware of this that they were able to just go in there, program it, and fix it fast? No, nothing like that at all. I kept my phone in my pants pocket and the lint in there was getting into the USB port on my phone and blocking some of the connectors. They used a brush and some compressed air to blow the lint out of the USB port on my phone and it's worked fine ever since then. Now, as luck would have it, my wife had just bought me a new portable air duster kit for my birthday and it came with a bunch of different attachments and some brushes. So the first thing I did was make sure to use that brush on the USB port on the Tone Master Pro just to see if there was anything that that might loosen up. Then I took the portable air duster and put on one of the attachments and put it on high and just blew that thing out for a minute or so. Well, I hooked the USB cable up and tried Logic Pro and it worked just fine. Once again, a little piece of dirt or a little piece of lint or a little piece of fuzz or something had gotten into the USB port and was blocking one of those 24 pin connectors. You know, I was dreading the possibility of having to send my Tone Master Pro back to Fender. I mean, I make my videos and the Tone Master Pro is a big part of it. No Tone Master Pro, <laughs> no Doug B videos for a while and I did not look forward to that. But it's working again, and I'm back to breathing easy, so I thought that I would just drop some knowledge about USB on you guys. Let me know if you've had any trouble with the USB port, to, you know, like partially working or completely dying. How did you solve it? Were you able to solve it? Was it just like me? Were you able to just clean some dirt out of it, or did that not take care of it? Oh yeah, time for a big shout out to at Sean Helsel 923 for his $10 donation to the channel. Thank you very much. You are a class act. And if you're still here, thank you so much for stopping by and sticking around. I really do appreciate it. If you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions, drop me a line here and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, next Wednesday, I'll be having all new content for the Tone Master Pro. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great week. Stay warm. And I'll be talking with you again next Wednesday.